All right, I'm back. Just now reaching my first boardwalk. <laughs> Let's take you up here and see what we find. You can see in the distance there, that's the Potts Ferry Bridge. That's where the drawbridge is. And I don't know if you can pick it up on here, but you can start hearing the cars going across there. Like I said, that's the only detractor for me, is hearing the sound of the cars going across the grates. But that's just me personally. I'd much prefer to, you know, hear the, the waves lapping and, you know, the birds and everything else. But, you know, it doesn't really ruin the experience too much. I still love coming here. And as you can see, there's a nice big old deck right here. You can go fishing there. I'm sure you could probably, probably have a nice little get together there. It's pretty big enough for a pretty good little group. And as you can see though, there's a lot of, a lot of different boardwalks that kind of go all the way around. Uh, some of them lead down there to y'all's place and the, uh, the other boat launch area. Some of them just lead over here and then cross over back to that pavilion over there. I'm going to go ahead and take you down by the one that takes you back by the, uh, closer to the bridge there by the, the boat access and by y'all's place. All right, till next time. All right, I've gotten closer to the bridge now. You can see there's a boat access right here. And also if you park down over that way, you can actually walk up on the bridge. They have a uh, pedestrian walkway along the side. Eventually I'll probably try to do that and get some film from that side of the Biloxi Bay there. Uh, pretty nice. Eventually I'd like to do a lot more of the bridges out here as well. Um, do the one for Ocean Springs, the Bay St. Louis Bridge, and uh, the one that goes over into Diarville. Uh, they also have a nice little sign here. It tells you about Potts Ferry's Landing. It says, this is the site of the historic Potts Ferry Landing, which was constructed by John F. Pop, the Danish immigrant and retired New Orleans lumber merchant purchased property on both sides of the Biloxi Bay in 1874. On the North Shore, he built a home on the bluff overlooking the convergence of the Biloxi and the Chutica Buff rivers. On the South Shore, he established the landing and operated a hand-pulled cable, cable ferry. Pops Ferry transported people, livestock, and vehicles from Biloxi northward across the small stretch of Big Lake to this landing. From here, they continued their travel north along the unimproved Causeway Road to Burnt Bridge. The ferry ceased operating in 1928 when the original Potts Ferry Causeway Bridge was constructed. Biloxi residents have long enjoyed exceptionally good fishing along the Potts Ferry Peninsula. Many fishing camps were located along Causeway Road, including the Hilltop Fishing Camp and the Fishing Arena, which was moored on Big Lake on the west side of the causeway. The Fishing Arena was a large air-cooled indoor venue from which patrons could sit and fish with access to the bait shop, snacks, and dining room. All right, and there is y'all's place, or Yule's place. Looks like the hours are 7 a.m. until, um, see they got some seating outside. Says they got cold beer, which is always good. I know they sell bait and uh, other stuff there as well. Uh, apparently they are closed on Mondays. And it looks like they have a uh, menu outside here. Burgers, tuna dip, wings, boiled crabs. Interesting. Like I said, one day I'll, I will have to try it out as I'm here. Um, I was going to go back across the boardwalk there and go down, but I'm just going to go across the sidewalk here. It leads to the same place. I'm heading towards that pavilion over there. And I'll take you to where they have the park benches and the barbecue grills and stuff. Oh, and also, I believe you can rent kayaks from there. there I know there's a kayak launch back there. I, I'm, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I know at one point they had said that you should be able to rent them from there. I'd like to do that one day and, and actually go out here and kayak the back bay. I think that'd be, that'd be real nice and love to film it. So hopefully I'll be able to do that one day. All right, till later. Hello, I'm back again. I'm here at the picnic area that has the little barbecue grill set up and everything and as you can see it's a pretty good sized little area right here 
got different benches and, and concrete tables and everything. And some of them are handicap accessible as well, which is always good. And behind me, there's this large pavilion right here, which has picnic benches and everything as well. So you can be in the shade and get out of the weather if it does happen to rain after you barbecued your, your stuff, fish, whatever. Very nice little area here. Um, they got a nice little padded walkway that leads down to that area where the, the benches and everything are as well. I'm gonna go up towards the pavilion and go to the other little small pavilion, which is usually where me and my dad take a break and just enjoy the nice little piece of the back bay there. All right, I'll get on there whenever I get there. All right, here's that large pavilion I was telling you about. Go up in here and check it out. So I know they got some signage in here that tell you a little bit about different stuff here. The estuary here, of the back bay in Biloxi. It's probably hard to see that, but they do have some nice little signage. The other one has some as well. This one talks about some of the wildlife, small wildlife you might see here. You got raccoons, marsh rabbits, nutria, and rice rats. This one over here talks about some of the plants got some smooth cord grass black needle brush and the yalpon which the yalpon must be the one with the pods very neat and we've got another one over here that talks about different kinds of reptiles here you got the american alligator the green water snake the salt marsh snake and the diamondback terrapin that you might be able to see here also have some birds here as well. It says there's been over 110 species of birds have been documented at or near Potts Ferry Causeway Park. Just like the snowy egret, the osprey, and the great blue heron. So far I've seen mainly seagulls and I've seen some small birds and I think I've seen a pelican, maybe a heron. Oh, there's the reptile. There's some fish right here. You all have the the redfish, the mullet, and the hardhead catfish, which you might be able to find here as well. All right, I'll take you to that smaller pavilion now. All right, I'm back here at the little small pavilion where me and my dad like to take breaks. Uh, as you can see, it's a nice little secluded pavilion back here. I'll give you a 360 over here. Got some nice benches set up, and I got a always have a nice cool breeze here it seems like but yeah nice little area here they got some more little informational signs uh, some more to talk about the birds and some crabs and white shrimp and things like that that you might be able to catch here as well all right I will take you over to the, the padded walkway next and walk in and then I'm gonna head back to the house after that all right till then back here and I'm on the padded walkway now I just like the way it feels under my feet nice and spongy uh, you can see it takes multiple turns throughout here um, each leading to a bench or a nice little concrete picnic table where they have some little barbecue grills set up I'm gonna take it to the left first and circumnavigate back around I will say um, I do recommend that you use the restroom before you come here because so far all I've seen is some porta potties here. There's not uh, really any place to go to the bathroom other than there. So I would recommend going before you come here. But you can see there's some nice little, nice little inclines and stuff here. Not not very much, nothing strenuous or nothing, but still get some nice pretty views. And you know it would be a very nice place to to have a nice little picnic or a nice little barbecue lunch or something I could see that for sure or just sit here and relax as well yeah 
Now that is the only drawback to this over here though, is that once that drawbridge goes up, you see how traffic gets really backed up back here, but on both sides of the bridge. But, uh, you know, you have to deal with it. There's a, a barge going under there now, so that's why it's, it's going up and the traffic is all backed up. But still very nice little area. Got that nice little breeze blowing. Oh, if you could see out there, it looks like there might be a might be a herring out there. I'll I'll try to get a close-up picture of it and see and put it in the uh, the picture video I'm gonna make later on. Uh, but they got some nice little flowers out through here and everything. It smells real nice out here as well. Very nice, very enjoyable. You can see some of them out there. Ooh, a nice little butterfly and everything. You can see some of the pretty little flowers here and all right well i'm almost done with it uh, it just goes back up there and then gets back on the boardwalk and goes back across so i'm gonna try to take some more pictures and then i'm gonna be heading on out of here till next time until the next adventure <laughs>